Hello, I'm James Knight. I'm the founder of Gentle Somatic Yoga. This somatic movement flow that I'm going to guide you through is to help unlock um, tension in the pelvis, the inner thigh, and the outer thigh. So if you have the space, please lie down on your back. And let's do a check-in before we do the flow. This is part of how we repattern the brain to muscle connection, is just noticing before and then after. So in this, uh, in this position, just close your eyes and scan your body from the inside out, especially from the waist down to the toes, and just notice what you notice. Is one leg turned out more than the other? Does one uh, hip feel higher than the other? And then what about the length of the legs? So these are just some of the things that you can notice. Also, does um, like for me right now, I can feel that potentially the right hip feels a little bit more congested. So there's infinite register of sensation. What do you notice right now in this position? Okay, and so let's begin. Uh, starting with the right leg, Keep the knee bent out to the side as you draw your heel in towards the pelvis and then pause, release all muscular efforts. Extend the right leg again, slide your heel on the floor and then come to neutral, release all muscular efforts. And again, slide the heel up towards the pelvis, pause, extend the leg out long, very important to release all muscular effort before moving on to the next repetition. We're gonna change it up a little bit. Bend the knee out, draw the heel up, pause. And then lift the knee up and flatten the foot on the floor, rest. Choosing to come down in thirds. So bring the knee out to the side and pause. Come down a little bit more and pause down a little bit more, pause. Now release all muscular effort and extend the leg long and rest. Again, slide the heel, we're gonna do that again. Slide the heel up, pause, release, bring the knees up, foot flat, and then you choose to stop three different places. And if you notice any shaking or shivering, just notice if you can maybe lift your leg back and forth in that spot. Call these micro movements. And then come all the way down and release all muscular efforts. And then push and extend the leg and release. One more time, draw the heel up, pause, lift the knee, put flat on the floor, pause. Choose three different places to stop the knee. And again, if, when you're coming down, if you feel like there's any shaking, then feel free to do a little micro movement in that area and then go to the next angle. Okay, so I'm gonna tune in. Pick your first place where you stop. Pick the second place. And the third place. So there's a little bit of shaking here, so I'm gonna try a little micro movement. If this is not happening for you, then just bring your leg all the way down, rest, and extend the leg. Release all muscular movements. Next one, we're gonna, those are the um, adductor muscles, the muscles of the inner groin and the inner thigh. So working with the right leg, let's work with the abductors, which is the IT band, the TFL, the glutes, and the piriformis. So if you'd like to roll on your side a little bit, drag that right heel behind you. Look over your head, it's a small movement, and then extend this leg 
back to center. Let the head look down. Drag the right heel behind you. Engage the muscles on the outer thigh as if you could see the bottom of your foot, some of you may, and come back to a neutral position with no muscular effort. Last time, drag the heel back and slowly come back to neutral. Release all muscular efforts and then lie on your back. And I'm gonna show you another variation with that. So some of you may be able to just bend your knee in towards the other leg and scoot the heel towards the opposite hip. Again, it's just a quarter of a turn, a quarter of a circle. You're dragging the heel back and to neutral release. I'll show you one more in this variation. So bend the knee in, slide the heel out, let the head roll to the right, pause, and then extend the leg. And let's check in and I'm gonna ask you, how do you feel from the inside out if there's any difference between your right leg and pelvis hip to your left leg. So let's just check in, close your eyes. Some of the things you might notice, um, I'm gonna share with you what I feel in my body, is that this leg feels more alive, connected, is the best way I could say it. This leg feels like more joint, like I can feel my joints. Um, another thing that I notice is that the lower back is closer to the floor and my leg feels just longer. Um, so those are some of the things that I notice. There's definitely a difference between left and right. Let's carry on, let's do the left side now. So when you're ready, uh, bend the left heel towards the pelvis. Pause, release. And then extend the left leg, slow and smooth and release all muscular effort. Try it again. Drag the heel slow and smooth towards the pelvis. And just notice, you can even place your hand on this inner thigh into the groin. You can feel muscular engagement here. And then extend and release. Adding on, keep the knee out to the side. Drag the heel up, notice the muscles engaging. Flat the foot on the floor, bring the knee up, and pause. Choose three points to stop as the knee comes out to the side. There's one, two, three, and you're looking to see if there's any shaking or chatter. And if there is, feel free to do a micro movement back and forth, eventually extending that leg long and release all muscular efforts. Two more of these, bring the heel up slowly, plant the foot on the floor by lifting the leg, and then choose three new places to bring the knee out to the side and pause. I felt that there could have been a little chatter for me at the end, so the last one, check in. Just a little bit of shaking, so I'm going to choose to do a little bit of micro movement. See if I can smooth that out. And then if that is or isn't happening for you, feel free to continue on with the sequence and rest. All right, rolling over to the right side. I typically like to do three to five repetitions with each um, set. So I like to show this position first because more people may have more accessi accessibility of engaging the heel back. Okay, so just start in a position where your body is just relaxed, resting on your elbow. And then as you bring your heel back, just let your head roll back to without straining the neck. Feel the muscles engaging on the outer thigh the abductors and come back and let the head look down. Two more times. Bring the heel back, engage these muscles in the side body, and come back to neutral and release. 
one more time. Mindfully engage and disengage. If you'd like to try a couple lying on your back, so if you choose to do this at a later time without the video, feel free to choose which body shape feels the best. If you're in this position, you could experiment bringing the knee in, dragging the heel out, and extending the leg and release. That's very important. You have to let go of all muscular engagement, otherwise it won't be a repatterning and it's more like an exercise to strengthen your body, which does happen through general somatic yoga, but it's when you reset the length of a muscle to its most optimal position is when strength returns. I'll show you one more time because it feels good in my body. You can press down with your shoulder a little bit, light, and then extend and rest. Release all muscular effort. <sighs> Cleansing breath. Bringing that internal gaze. What do you notice now between both of your hips, pelvis, and your legs? There's no right or wrong answer. It's just, it changes each time you practice. This leg now feels slightly longer, for example. Uh, but it just, they feel more balanced now. How do you feel from your waist down to your toes? What do you notice? And then transitioning over back to sitting for a moment. So one of the main intentions of general somatic yoga and the neuroscience is to reset the length of a muscle in a resting position. So anybody that's in pain or you feel stiff, it means that the body of the muscle is in a shortened, contracted position, even when you're resting. You know, that's when the muscles feel hard and tight. So through the somatic movement flows, what you're doing is you're resetting the length of a resting muscle to its most optimal length. And that's why you're feeling the difference between left and right. And that's ultimately the goal, is that when we're resting, we want our muscles to be long and our body relaxed. So thanks for following along, and remember to always awaken the possible.